happy Friday. All right, so another day, another doctor's appointment. It is 10.30. We're leaving the ophthalmic vet for the 17th time this week. No, we got more yucky news. But before we get into it, I did want to say, hey, you guys, happy vlog, happy Friday, and thank our sponsor, Soul Mask for sponsoring this vlog. You guys, you know how I feel about taking on a new partnership. Like my partnerships are so repetitive because they become a part of like my lifestyle, my routine, my family's lifestyle. And it's one of those things where if I can't comfortably vouch for the brand and make it fit into our life, like I can't really talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about an ab belt here because don't nobody got abs in my family, you know? <laughs> And so these soul masks are something that I was very eager to try because you know my boys went back to school like in person school in the fall. One of Parker's daughters goes back to school in person. Parker's a first responder. He never got to stay home. So masks have been our way of life for over a year now. And I do have to say, I am lucky enough to be able to stay home and not have to wear a mask as often. Groceries and things like that I have delivered, but there are some things that I just can't get away from doing, like constant veterinary visits. Or the other day I had to pick up my son from school and the school will not allow you to sit foot on campus unless you're wearing a mask. You know, there's things you forget, there's things, home essentials, stuff like that, and so, Masks have been such a way of life these days and I think it's gonna be one of those things where it just becomes something that you do. You do for others, you do for your family, you know, it's a way of showing other people that you are considerate and care about their health. And so it's something that we don't want to disregard, but it's also something that becomes problematic. like. I don't know about you, but I don't want to keep buying disposable masks over and over and over and over and over again. And I don't know, I just don't feel good about it. Plus, of all the masks that I've tried, the ones that dry out my skin and give me that like burny winter skin are the disposable ones. The ones that are made of this material. So I've been trying sole masks for about three months now. I got them around Halloween. And I really wanted to give them a shot. I wanted to use them, I wanted to wash them. And I think what convinced me the most was their sustainability purpose. This upsets me. Having to use these masks upsets me because they're disposable and sometimes I forget to cut the strings and then it becomes an eco disaster. Masks these days are not hard to find. Comfortable masks these days are very hard to find. <laughs> and so I wanted to show you guys a close up of the Soul Mask. This is a rayon mask. It is a biodegradable fabric or rather more biodegradable than other fabrics. So it definitely leaves the earth a lot sooner than other fabrics. They're actually made with rayon dead stock that bigger brands don't use. So stock that's left over from whatever they made is what they use. And this is rayon, so it is an organic biodegradable fabric that disintegrates a lot faster than other synthetic fabrics. I like the mask to really fit on my face and I think that's partially the reason why this mask doesn't dry out my skin because it doesn't have that pocket of hot air like most masks that are like this one. I got a few for the boys, so let me show you guys. These are the little ones for kids. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Look how stretchy they are though. I know my son Mateo is not a fan of the nose piece. It really took him like a whole semester to share that piece with me. I was like, buddy, why do you always chew out little holes at the top part of your mask? He's like, I don't like the metal part. So he would make little holes and pull out the metal piece. <laughs> so now he's like, where's my soul mask? I'm like, Okay, Diva, learn to use the washing machine. They have really cute patterns. I will have a link in the description box below for you guys. You will get 20% off if you use the code coffee break. I think this is a recommendation like sharing underwear, you know, or sharing a good bra. You have to wear it. You have to wear it for an extended period of time. We're probably gonna need them for a hot minute or indefinitely. And so it's important to find some that not only are comfortable, but also are washer friendly and are family friendly. Disclaimer though, if you have a significant other, if you are someone that, or if you have a spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend that has a really big face, these probably won't fit. I have an average size base. So if I go buy a hat, if I buy sunglasses, 
I can buy off the rack and it will fit. So you can see how loose it is. It will fit. This is like an off the rack size. It totally fits. Kids, the kid size fits both Daniel and Mateo and they are five and nine. This is the same size for men and women, adults, and it doesn't fit Parker. This is huge. <laughs> so I'm talking like about an abnormally large face, then they won't fit because they're super, 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 super stretchy. And this is the last thing I'm gonna say about it. And it's kind of vulnerable, but we're all friends here, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. The mask survived my therapy session test. <laughs> If you guys go to therapy I do I go every two weeks and I love to see my therapist in person but we both are under the agreement that we wear masks do you know how hard it is to cry through one of these masks the snot the drool and the tears that accumulate is so uncomfortable then you get rashy and itchy y'all the last therapy session I had I was wearing this one no I was wearing I was wearing the gray one it survived my therapy session. It let me breathe. Do you guys, have you ever tried masks that you're like, <gasps> and they, to <laughs> they totally suffocate you? This one doesn't. So this is suffocation proof. <laughs> Danny approved, but y'all are probably here to hear me talk about my vet. She's still alive. The vet fellow is still alive. The ophthalmic surgeon is still alive. Listen, it's been a hard year enough already. There, th no murder needs to be had. However, masks do need to be worn. So if you guys are interested and you wanna check out a sustainable mask, you wanna contribute and minimize your carbon footprint. Look at this one, he's like, is it my cue yet? Um, minimize your carbon footprint and you wanna get 20% off. There will be a link in the description box below. Coffee Break gets you 20% off. Y'all, I really want the tie-dye one. There's also a leopard print. But y'all wanna know how this little ham sandwich is feeling. Look at him. We got terrible, terrible, ugly, disgusting, expensive news today, which is another reason why I can thank our sponsor, Soul Mask, because mama needs to pay for a surgery. <laughs> oh boy. Y'all, you know what? I told you a few vlogs ago. Told you a few vlogs ago, this is a today problem. I'm not gonna stress out about it. I'm not gonna make a big deal. It's a today problem. It will be figured out today but in this case it's a this week's problem so we have our follow-up next Tuesday and next Tuesday I need to have an answer for the vet if I do in fact want to pursue a secondary surgery for Wesley and I know I was a sobbing mess a few vlogs ago where I was telling you I can't put him through another surgery like he's old and he's tired and he's diabetic and his healing takes forever and you know we need to set him up at a different standard when it comes to healing because he is immunocompromised. So we gotta be a little more patient with his medical treatments. I'm kind of nearing that window of, are you guys just trying to take my money? <laughs> I'm getting there, like I'm getting real close to, are you guys just trying to take my money because now I have to pay two grand for a secondary surgery and this is a complication from the initial surgery. I love this clinic and I think they do a good job at what they do and I also know that Wesley is a wild card because he's already sick, I know that. And so I have to keep myself aware and present and understanding that Wesley is a wild card. He's diabetic. He has Cushing's. He's always healed very slowly, even when he didn't have diabetes. I think maybe it's a breed thing. It's a purebred dog thing, let's be honest. Like, my dogs are all runts and rescues, and Wesley's the only one that is a purebred. He came with, like, a pedigree certificate, and this is what happens. This is why, this is why runts and mixed people are the best because we don't get sick why am I saying we like I'm I'm some sort of <laughs> why am I saying we like like I'm some sort of like combination platter <laughs> clearly I'm passionate about this subject anyway so I know it's it's a breed thing I know it's probably a pure purebred dog thing I know it's I know it's a diabetic thing for sure but now we are presented with making the decision of do we want to do a graft to cover his ulcer 
because the ulcer is healing, but it's healing slowly. So I told the doctor, I don't wanna make a decision right now. I'd like to wait an additional week. And if there's progress from today to next week, I'm not doing the surgery. Even if it's the most minimal progress, I'm not going forward with the surgery. Because the surgery will always be there. And having an ulcer is always risky, regardless of whether you're high risk or not, it's always risky. So if there's progress from today to next week, I'm not doing the surgery. However, if there isn't progress or he gets worse in terms of the ulcer or the bacteria, then we'll do it. Which means I'll be sponsoring at belts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a bad joke, okay? <laughs> We don't have a busy weekend. We don't have any of the kids. It's just gonna be me and the pee. It's gonna be a pretty chill weekend. This vlog probably will be short because we don't have anything exciting to do. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys. And driving next to all these trucks is making me nervous, so I gotta go. Welcome for that sexy angle. Look at that. All right, real talk. My best friend and I, my best friend and I, my best friend Sam and I were having a conversation the other day on liposuction for our double chin. Now, I'll show you guys some baby pictures, maybe on Instagram, but ever since I was little, I've had this fat patch. It's like a legitimate cold fat patch. Anyway. Where, where am I going with this fat patch story? It's noon. Okay, it's noon. One, um, you guys probably didn't think I was going to eat all that food. Exhibit A, I eat a lot. Parker hates me, legitimately loathes my living presence because I basically eat a lot and whatever I want and don't gain weight. I think I think my body's allergic to fat. <laughs> I think my body rejects fat. And I know this might sound like a first world problem or maybe like I'm bragging or maybe like I'm a total thesaurus, <coughs> but it's a problem really because when I had my explant surgery and I had uh, fat grafting, so fat moved to my boobs, none of the fat stuck. Like my body like kicks out fat, does not like fat. Anyway, so I was talking to Sam about this. We've always had this. Sam has a rounder face. I have sort of an oval Muppet looking face, but I've always had this, always. It doesn't matter. I could be at my lowest weight, I could be at my highest weight, and I've always had this little patch, this cold little patch. It would cost me maybe $1,000, maybe $1,200 to lipo out that fat. And I didn't know that wherever they kill your fat cells, they don't come back. So it would be a permanent solution to this. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I've never been anti-plastic surgery or beauty treatments. I think that if you are of sound mind, you work hard and that would make you happy, go for it. But this is something that makes me nervous just because it's my face. Um, anyway, so... Uh, best friend Sam still in the picture. I don't know why you guys continuously continuously ardently ask me about Sam like I haven't heard about Sam I haven't heard about Sam is Sam still in the picture. I'm like bro Sam's always gonna be in the picture and even when Sam wants to break up with me. I'm never gonna let her <laughs> I just don't talk about her that often because she's like a permanent part of my day Like we text every day. We talk often. I just haven't seen her because of a pandemic, you know and so I didn't realize that you guys missed me talking about her. But yeah, she's she's still around. We text every single day. So that was that was the topics that needed to be covered. Is is I I was definitely 
I definitely ate all that food. I'm still actually working on it, but the doorbell rang because this arrived. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since Black Friday. <laughs> Truth be told, I forgot I ordered it and I got it for $25 which is probably why it took so long to arrive. But in our bedroom, we have one tiny, tiny, tiny little clock that glows at night and all you have to do is sit up to be able to see it because it's right below our television. However, I'm a side sleeper. I'm always facing that direction. And so it's very important that if I need to know what time it is, I can just do this. <laughs> Listen, it was $25, okay? back up <laughs> so here's the bedroom you guys remember our new wall there's a little sophie girl so i'm putting laundry away but this is where where the clock is right and so if i'm here in bed don't mind my cookies if i'm in bed i have to like get up or sit up or look up to be able to see that clock luckily you can change the brightness so it's not like super gleaming at night but ideally i would like to have it somewhere here i want to kind of go for more of a cleared off look not really achieving it right now but i want to put that little echo somewhere here obviously i'm kind of excited because it's going to match the whole cool tone bluish gray theme um look at this we got a Westie and a potato. Look at this. Do you see this big old potato? Hey, do you remember when you used to be able to fit into diapers? Do you remember when I called you Jingle Bell because your diapers actually fit? And now, look at Diapers don't go all the way around this. They don't. Look at it. Like it's like a big mashed potato. What are we going to do, huh? What are we going to do? Look, he is, he's like 15 years old. He just needs to live his best life. Like, I just need to let him... I just need to let him do this. We're gonna set this up together, guys. Are you excited? Get excited. Look how pretty it is. I wonder how big it is. I mean, the box is pretty tiny, so we'll see. I already have a problem with this. Like, we know we have the capacity of making really small plugs. Why do we still do this? To annoy type A personalities like me. Look how cute this is. Oh, it's so, it's so little. <laughs> Oh, look at it so little! <laughs> wow! Well, that was a lot harder than it needed to be. Oh. Oh! Oh! Look at that. That is aggressive. Wow! Alexa. Hello. You know, my job's technology-based. You would think I'd be a lot more savvy with things like that. I'm still like, Parker! <laughs> okay, if you guys are wondering, this is called the Echo Dot 4th Gen, 4th Generation. Smart speaker with clock. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Hola, vamos a empezar. Installa la app d'Alexa y sigue las instrucciones. Bonjour. Votre appareil est prêt pour la configuration. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. Bringing your device online. Just a moment. Your Echo is ready. Ready for what? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.51 a.m. By the way, I can tell you about the weather at a specific time of day. Just say, what's the weather at 10 p.m.? Happy Friday, Danny. Whoa, creepy. All right, so she's real cute. That's on the brightest light setting. Look how bright it is. It's crazy. But you can dim it. You can make it auto adjust. It has little functions at the top. Um, you know, if you want the volume higher or lower, but you could also do that by voice command, which is really simple. It's pretty small. You can tell my nightstands are pretty small. They're little ones, but you could see it's very, very tiny. So this would be really great for like a bookshelf. If you have one of those really decorated bookshelves that looks all artsy fartsy, it'd be really, invisible in a setting like that. Any sort of shelf, bookshelf, desk. It's really small. I mean, do you see how little that is? So it's very cute. I have to say, I'm a fan. Anyway, I had my Alexa phase. Just making sure I didn't trigger her. I had my A phase for a second where I had them in my home and then I totally took them down because I got really scared and paranoid about the breach that they had. I mean, we already live in a generation where 
we're being monitored, whether it's our phone or a restaurant we're sitting at. I mean, it's, it's just, it's the direction we're heading in. I know it sounds weird and it sounds Truman Show-ish like, but it's not something you could really fight or protect yourself from, like Wi-Fi and blue light. <laughs> all the other harmful things happening around in this world. So if I can make my life easier and say, Alexa, play 90s gangster rap, why won't I? You know what I mean? Play 90s gangster rap music on Amazon Music. She always has my back. She knows what's up. She knows how to take care of me. You know what I mean? A little Tupac, a little cottage cheese, hanging out with my dogs. This is the kind of life I want for myself and my family. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys, good morning. It is about 9.30, so here's the scoop. Um, I have nothing for you. <laughs> What's the scoop, Parker? Uh, we're gonna go do some fun things. We're gonna go to Nebraska Furniture Mart, look at some new beds because we think we wanna upgrade. And then we are going to Costco for lunch. The internet is seeing your boobs. It's like a mirror versus mirror versus mirror versus mirror. Wait till I change the monitor on. He's only like this. <laughs> Stop! It? No! Okay, so <laughs> I will save the internet from that moment. I told Parker, I was like, I know we always said we were going to stay in a queen bed because it's so romantic, but it would be nice to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I don't not get a good night's sleep since switching the room around. I told you guys that I sleep so profoundly, profoundly, deeply. Do I sleep profoundly? That's it's like a Shakespeare sonnet. <laughs> um, I sleep very, I've, I've slept really, really great, but Wesley's been sick. Sophia hasn't been feeling well. So they've um, co-slept with us for, you know, random occasions. And I'm like, Parker, they're only getting older. Like, there's always gonna be a dog in our bed for the next several years. And it's hard because I can't stretch my legs. If I stretch my legs, I'll kick Sophia. If I bend up my knees, like, like in a fetal position, then I kick Parker. If I turn over because I've, you know, like my, I'm tired of sleeping on that side, then Parker's breathing in my face. It's, very uncomfortable for me. And Parker is blessed with that gene that makes you so upset because this man will rest his head on a pillow and in three seconds he's asleep. And he can fall asleep standing and he can fall asleep on the couch and he can fall asleep in bed and he can fall asleep, you know, in the corner of a room on a cushion. Like he can fall asleep anywhere. And I'm home all day. I'm sitting at a desk, I'm taking care of dogs, I'm making lunches, I'm making dinner. I'm always like doing a million things at once. So when I get to bed, like at the end of the day, it's sad to admit, but it's the thing I look forward to every day is going to sleep. <laughs> it's forgetting about my day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and so I told him, I was like, I think for me, my convincing point was, wow. I don't brush my hair. My convincing point for me, or rather like my sprinkles on the cake, my, what's it called? Like my power punch, my selling point. Now, like the one piece of, of evidence that I used to convince him for us to be able to get a bigger bed was when we go out of town, Oklahoma, Mexico, all the places we love to go to, and we stay at a hotel, we always stay in a hotel with a king size bed. And where do I end up sleeping? He's like, in the middle. And I'm like, yes. So this isn't like, we're not breaking up. <laughs> we're not breaking up by getting a bigger bed, but it would be nice that if on those nights where Wesley's sick and he has to sleep with us, that there's room for me to be able to get a restful night's sleep. And I think he actually felt the brunt of it because Two weeks ago, one week ago, Sophia was very sick and had to sleep with us for three or four nights. And she, when she is sick or scared, she's Parker's dog. For some reason, he makes her feel better. And poor Parker. I mean, he had a good night's sleep because I'm telling you, this man could sleep on a bed of nails. But she was up his... <coughs> 
cooked all night. It was really cute, but I was like, mm. do you know what I mean now about a king size bed? No. <laughs> So it's kind of a thought we're playing with. Parker being a Virgo, me being a Sagittarius, like I would just add a bunch of shit to my cart order and be like, king size bed, I'll be here on Monday. But with Parker, it has to be like, okay, well, these are options. This is kind of the budget I'm thinking about. We wouldn't have to replace like our duvet, our duvet and our duvet covers. We, would, we wouldn't have to buy any duvets or duvet covers because I always buy king size for queen beds, always. I love them to hang over so that I could tuck them in. I was like, so we wouldn't have to buy that. We wouldn't have to buy pillows. We would only have to buy mattress and bed frame, maybe box spring if you want a higher bed. And you guys can tell Parker likes the, the tall beds. Like my bed, the gray one that I used to have was very low. I love low beds because I don't have to pick up dogs. And it's not like you're gonna dissuade them from getting on your bed. They're gonna get on your bed regardless. And I would rather them do it comfortably than hurting themselves but he likes the high bed so we're looking into that and so i had to kind of like we at the most we would be spending this much we, you know the transition would probably take about two weeks we'd have to sell a bed anyway so we woke up today i was actually in a very good mood this morning because we watched naked and afraid last night which is one of my favorite shows y'all if you haven't seen that show is one of those shows that it doesn't have substance but it's really cool to like ad lib to it. You know, like this lady's trying to build a fire and she's like crack <coughs> naked bent over a fire. I'm like, dude, cover your panoch. You're gonna get weird bugs in there, you know? So it's a very, it's a very colorful show if you add commentary to whatever you're watching. So we saw that, but we didn't go to bed until 10, which is rare. We usually go to bed around 8.30. <laughs> and Parker didn't wake me up this morning. So I didn't get up until 7.30. Again, we're usually up by six. So I woke up and I was like, really good mood because I was super well rested. Maybe because it's the new direction of our bed facing with the magnetic force field pull, increasing our blood circulation. One of you guys left us a comment and I was like, Parker, maybe we're onto something. Maybe we accidentally feng shui'd our bedroom. Sir, can you collapse your trachea somewhere else? Papa. Papa. Oh, look. There's a potato in my studio. And it walks. Hey, little potato. Double bean. Double. The double. The double bean. Get the anise. Get the anise. Get the anise. Hi, is it double? Why are you so naked? Why are you so naked? Why are you so naked? Yes, you're naked too. You're naked too. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, the sole purpose of this check-in was to show you guys this. This is actually not a robe. This is a cardigan. And the reason that I want to show this to you guys or share this with you guys is because a lot of you guys left me a comment about the Skims robe that I love the Kim Kardashian Skims robe that I bought myself for my birthday. Let me show you guys. Parker's all ready, I'm still in pajamas. So, there's better lighting in here. So this is a cardigan, it's called the Belted Cardigan from Forever 21. When I showed you guys, hold please, this robe from Kim Kardashian, a lot of you guys said, holy heck, why is it so expensive? All of these furry, cozy robes from like Barefoot Dreams and Skims, Uggs is another brand that does this type of cozy robe. They're over $100. I think the Skims one was $130. And it's a big price tag, but when you guys own one and you see how much use you get out of it, how much you look forward to putting it on, it's... I really think you get your money's worth. However, it does not justify the price of the material, the construction. Like, I'm not, this isn't anything that is out of this world or, you know, manufactured in any sort of magical way. Right, Bobo? So I was thinking to myself, anytime big brands slap their name on something, it doesn't matter how cheap it is, people are going to run and buy it and, you know, they're going to love it. So there has to be a suitable alternative. Am I right? So I found this. This is from Forever 21. It is about a sixth of the price, maybe. 
a fifth or a sixth of the price. It is a little bit shorter. The pockets are actually at the right height, which my biggest complaint with the Skims one was the pockets are like down here. Like you wanna put something in your pocket, you have to, I'm almost six feet tall, so I've never had an issue with pockets being too low. It's always the pockets are too high because I'm tall, but the pockets in the Skims one are really low. I really like this one because the fabric itself is actually a little bit different. So the Skims one is very warm and cozy, but it does kind of nodule up and it gets thicker and chunkier. This one is a little bit smoother. It's just as cozy, it's just as warm, but it seems to hold up better in the wash. So if you guys are savage animals like me where you just wash everything in the washing machine, you put everything in the dryer except your panties and bras, this is something that would hold up a little bit more. But the funny thing is, is that it's pitched or sold as a belted cardigan, not as a robe. So it fits right at the knee. I guess if you are average height or a little bit shorter, it would be a little bit longer. On me, it's at the knee. But I am really digging this style. And I think with the price tag and coming from Forever 21 and being able to attach promo codes and using Rakuten and stuff like that, you're probably gonna like this one just because of the affordability more than the Kim Kardashian one. So I'll show you guys comparatively when it comes to the texture. Do you see that? So this one's a little bit bumpier. This one's a little bit smoother, but they're just as soft, just as warm, except the texture is just a little bit different. Kim Kardashian one comes in really soft, gentle colors like a dusk, um, a charcoal. This is the it's like a cream color. The Forever 21 um, comes in this color, this color, and like a camel, like a toffee brown. But I was like, man, my pandas need to know about this because spending $130 on a robe when it's not your birthday mm, might make you feel a little bit bad. But this one, belted cardigan. They also have little shirts and, and pants and stuff that match it, but those were harder to find. I think they're almost sold out. But. I don't know. Sharing is caring, am I right? So I think Parker's waiting for me. He's actually probably a, a little upset that I'm still vlogging. A lot of you guys asked me last weekend, which was weird that the question would stack up on that particular vlog. You guys said, how does Parker feel about you vlogging? Does he not like the attention? Does he get annoyed with you having to narrate all the time? Like, how does he feel about it? And I can tell when he's mildly annoyed, like right now, he's like, we have somewhere to go, let's go, because he's type A, he's efficient, he's like on a schedule, and so he doesn't have that emotional flexibility. But in like an overall sense, he is super supportive of my job. He's actually someone that motivates me when I don't want to work. He's like, come on, you said you were gonna do the A, B, C, and D. And so he reminds me, he keeps me on track because I'm very squirrely. And on days where I simply just can't, like the day I fell asleep unintentionally, New Year's Day, he just picks up where I leave off. Anyway, you guys, I'm probably way past my grace period right now with my Virgo, but I have to change. We're gonna head out. Um, I think we're gonna go to Costco and Nebraska Furniture Mart. Pretty sure Parker's hungry. So we might end up eating first, but that's it. I'll bring you guys along and maybe you'll help me pick a bed together. Hey you guys. Okay, so this handsome dude and I wanted to go to original pancake house, but they had a, right now with COVID restrictions, like restaurants can't be at capacity, right? So they had a 30 minute wait. So Parker drove around the corner and we found this place. We've never been here before, but the breakfast menu is two-sided. There's so many options. I don't know what to get. I kind of want French toast, but I also want breakfast. Does that make sense? What does that mean? I, I want French toast, but I also want breakfast. Let's see if he understands my code. Okay, so you want me to order breakfast that you want, so you can order the French toast. <laughs> Is that what's going on? No. no, but that was very, that was a very good, it was a very smart move. No, I mean like I want eggs and bacon, but I also want French toast. So I think I can find 
a breakfast where I could substitute out the pancakes, maybe. I don't know, I'll show you guys. to Nebraska Furniture Mart, which you guys always ask about our couches, our beds, our nightstands, the boys' furniture. All of our furniture is from Nebraska Furniture Mart, I think. With the exception of like maybe Randon's bed or all of Taryn's furniture is from Ikea. She likes all that like super sleek black mom furniture. But everything else is all from Nebraska. Our dining room table, our living room with all the studs. Our bedroom set now is all from Nebraska and so Parker and I were browsing this morning on Amazon and Target which is where I got my original bed frame the studded gray one uh, we were looking at bed frames but we started to get a little bewildered and confused as far as heights of the bed like do we need a box spring do we not and with all the like decorative pillows that I like to use is it gonna completely block out the, the headboard and stuff like that so Parker's like let's just go walk around Nebraska and see if we find something or if we see something that kind of inspires us so we're gonna go take a look and then we're gonna go home right or are we doing anything else oh Costco. sorry Costco. the whole day today started because and i can drop you off at home while i go to costco <laughs> he, got, he got all excited because i was like oh we haven't been to costco in a long time he's like i know right <laughs> can we go so yeah we're gonna do nebraska and then costco we do at some point have to rush home to do Wesley's drops. Parker was like, do you want to go home now and do them? And I was like, it's like a 30 minute regimen. So as long as we do it as soon as we get home, he'll be okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Am I bleeding? I feel like I'm bleeding. Am I bleeding? Am I dying? Am I dying? I feel like I scratched myself. No? Just a pimple. Great. You don't have to say it out loud for the internet to hear. It's a zit. <sighs> it's an infected it's a pimple. It's like a lesion. <laughs> I was gonna tell you guys something. Oh yeah, that breakfast place? Mm, six out of ten stars. Would eat it again, but it's it didn't change my life. It was okay. The French toast is pretty good. I'm surprised I ate six slices of toast. <laughs> I was about to say, you ate everything. <laughs> It was okay. <laughs> Completely licked her plate clean. <laughs> some gristle. First of all, I bacon left. bacon gristle left. That was it. I left it two okay. crusts. Probably very good, I guess. <laughs> I was raised not to waste food. Parker. Okay. This is what living with Parker is like. Every time making the wrong turn. Every time. We could be going home and he misses our exit. Do you guys have a partner that does that? And I didn't lick the plate clean. You didn't like what? I didn't lick the plate clean. <laughs> Gotta get it. That was a lot of food and it was gone. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, that's so much food. It's so big. And then it's gone. In like seven minutes, it's all gone. I am a little embarrassed because I showed them what I had for breakfast yesterday. And then when I was looking at the footage, I was like, that was a whole bowl like, overflowing of cottage cheese. And then I actually ate it all. This, this girl can eat. Just, her size does not, doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Something's weird, right? Yeah, you eat a lot, like a lot will fit inside you. That's miraculous in itself. That's because I'm long. And then you never gain any weight. You're skinny. This doesn't make sense. I do get bloated though, if I overeat. And then I regret it. For about 20 minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at this is where we're going. Nebraska Furniture Mart. So whenever Sam comes to visit pre-corona days and she would actually come visit a lot, she'd love coming here. She was like, man, I wish we had a place like this in New York. It's so awesome, it really is. It's like a shopping mall for furniture. You can get rugs, you can get televisions, you can get a treadmill, a whole bedroom set. Pretty sure you can get new cabinets. It's like, it's like what Ikea wishes it was, you know? <laughs>
here to report a crime. So Parker and I were watching Naked and Afraid. XL. XL. It's XL, right? Yep. Last Extra night. Extra long. <laughs> sorry, I just want to take this off. Um, sorry. Oh update. God, it's hand sanitizer. I told you it smells gross. The hand sanitizer in Nebraska Furniture Mart. Don't use it if you love yourself, even a little bit. Gotta use hand sanitizer to get the hand sanitizer off. Right. It smells like vom vomit, maybe. It smells a little funk. Like there's there's a stank. It smells like bad. A st stank. It smells like bad. So Naked and Afraid XL is like Naked and Afraid, but with teams. And so there was a team of three girls, and then another team of two boys and a girl. The team with the boys, the girl tapped out because she was a psycho. But the team of girls, one of them strayed and found this other team. And so I apparently fell asleep where the one girl went back to report to the other girls that she found another team. And so I was talking to Parker. Oh, more drops. We're on our way home, don't worry. I was telling Parker, I'm like, hey, oh God, I still have that sanitizer. You know what it smells like? If you guys ever have to clean your dog's like armpits with those medicated wipes or flush out their ears with that medicated wash, what it smells like. Oh, my hands are turning red. <laughs> I think that was some kind of reaction. <laughs> it might have apple cider or something like that in it. I asked him, I said, do you think the girl is gonna, um, what is it called when you like go over to another team? Betray or? Yeah, do you think the girl that found the, the men's team left the girl team to go, you know, join them? And he's like, oh no, they all went over. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? He's like, yeah, they all went over in, to, to work together. I'm like, so you kept watching without me? Is that what you're saying? This guy is the one that like, I, I could give another man my phone number, it's fine. But God forbid I continue to watch a series without him because then I'm like the worst spouse on the planet. No, you were there, you were present, you were with me as I was watching. If you fall asleep, that's on you. But when I'm at work Loopholes. and you, you're at home watching a series without me, that's, that's, that's grounds for a fight right there. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally fell into her vagina. Is that a loophole? There is no comparison. I no? I don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I sound like Honora. We're talking right about now. TVs, you're talking about cheating in a relationship, okay? Very, very different. So. You give me so much crap See, guys, about this watching. This is what women do. This is what women do. <laughs> oh, they know what I'm talking about. You kept watching without me. No, 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 know what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking See, about. I'm only upset because you get upset. Because I always tell him, I'm like, keep watching without me. Just go for it. I don't mind. I've already let it go. I know we're not going to watch a show together. It's never going to happen. I'm constantly going to cheat on you when it comes to watching the show. It's fine. I've, I've, I've accepted it as who you are. And I've moved on. I've accepted it. I'm good. But don't, don't try so to what else there. happened? Don't try Did to sit anyone there. get sent home? Just don't try to sit there and say Did anybody get sent home? Did you they find right. food? Did you. they kill the turtle? I don't talk about it. Did they ki kill the turtle? There was another. Was there another turtle? Yeah. Remember they kidnapped the turtle and they found the turtle again? Oh, I hope they didn't eat the turtle. The turtle was real cute, you guys. The turtle they put in a little prison? Yeah. She escaped. Yeah, the turtle got away. But then they found another turtle. The they, girls. Was they, it the girls? Was it the girls or was it... You know, for someone that watches ahead of me, you don't pay really good attention. I was half asleep too. <laughs> so... Here's the update. We're gonna go home, because Wesley needs his drops, and we're not hungry yet, and we wanted, like, half of us wanted to go to Costco because of the food, the other half of us wanted to go see if they had anything cool and new. I can't really say who the half was of what, because we both talked about the food. It's both we true. Both talked about shopping. That ice cream there. The ice cream there's real good. The ugly one that looks like berry vomit, it's horrible looking. It's worth it. It's worth the ugly. It's it changed, worth the disgust. It'll, it'll change the way you look at Costco. Yeah, yeah. So Make I sure told about that I, in bulk. <laughs> I told Mark, I was like, let's go home. Give Wesley his drops. Apparently, we have like 1,200 packages at the door. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's a mistake. Like the FedEx guy made this morning. Twice. And yeah, and so we got to go put all these packages away because it's raining. And then later, we'll go eat pizza, hot dogs, and ice cream at Costco. Oh, we can't eat. <gasps> what if it's closed because of COVID? The food? Yeah. Nah, I doubt it. Be right. Would that be a deal breaker or would you still want to go to Costco? 
No, I want to go to Costco. Regardless. Yes. You can get out of the house. We do need out. batteries. Move around. Yeah, but every time we get out and move around, we come home with new <laughs> You guys, we bought Yetis at Nebraska Furniture Mart. For no good but reason. But look at it. Let me show you. Look! Isn't that pretty? If you guys don't have a Yeti, you probably need one. It's hard to justify the price because there's a lot of dupes, but are they, do they match up? Do the other Yeti wannabes, do they, do they compare? I mean, I don't know. I've never kept one long enough to know if it matched up to my Yeti. Because when I spend that money on my Yeti, That's I take you... care of my Yeti. And I don't lose my Yeti, so the Yeti sticks around. If you pay like uh, 10, 15 bucks for a knockoff, you're gonna lose it. You're not gonna keep it, it's gonna disappear. Oh, because so, you don't care? Because you don't care. But spend a little extra money on the Yeti. You know you get high quality and because you spend a little coin on it, you're gonna take care of it and not lose it. I didn't think about it that so way. So it's gonna last you a lot longer because you're paying attention to it. Huh. That's true. You're like, don't don't nobody steal my Yeti. Hey, and they're the uh, the original, they're the OGs. They're the ones that came up with the idea. I don't know, guys. The price is a little bit painful. They're $30, right? Yeah, they're 30 bucks. It's a $30 tumbler. But you guys, when Parker makes my coffee at 6.15 in the morning, and by the time I get around to remembering that he made me coffee at like 2 or 2.30 when I go pick up the boys from school, it's still hot. <laughs> so... I was watching Jessica Braun, Jam Beauty 89's video on the 10 things you need in your life to improve your life in this new year. And she talked about humidifier and a cordless vacuum and like a sunlight simulating light. And one of the things she mentioned was a desk. It's like a little desk apparatus that you keep there to keep your coffee warm. And I was like, I'm sorry, Jessica. Do you live in the Stone Ages where people use normal mugs? No. <laughs> But I was like, I want that. Does it work through a Yeti? <laughs> Keeps it boiling hot. No, but her contraption is so cool because it has two circles. One side to keep it hot and one side to keep it cold. Did you know that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. How do you keep something cold though without it being that. a refrigerator? I feel like I must investigate though, but she didn't leave any links. So I'm like, how can I find this? I don't know how to use the internets. If it worked, I'd be sitting on it to keep myself cool in that hot office. Throw it out. And with that, I'm out. <laughs> you guys, we just came home and I figured out what the majority of these mysterious packages are. One is a gift for our nephew. The others are... Those are the air filters. Do you guys remember the Bissell air, air filters I got for Mateo's room and for the dog's room? I totally forgot I was waiting for this. And what are the chances that it arrives today? Check this out. Look it! They're the new colors. So the thing with Soul Mask is that they use dead stock from companies that have like leftover fabric from stuff they do. And they use the same particular fabric, which is that like really slinky rayon fabric. These are their newest colors. When I saw this color, I almost died. I've had this color on my mind the last few months. You guys have seen like the purple ruffle sweater I've been wearing, the one I got from Walmart. Look at this one, it's like a gray tie-dye. So when we go out later to Costco, I'm gonna have a new color to be rocking. Oh, and I told you guys that I like to wash them using a lingerie bag. So I have my kids super trained where they come home from school and they put their masks in here. This is a lingerie bag that I got from Amazon. So they come home from school, they put their mask in here, and every time I do the laundry, I just zip it up, drop it in the wash, and then I hang dry all my masks on these little octopus, pusses, octopuses, octop octopi, octopuses. octopuses. <laughs> and then I hang dry them on here. Isn't that cool? All right, you guys, the try on sesh nobody asked me about. Look how pretty this one is. I'm usually a fan of like colorful tie dye, but look at that, isn't that cool? It almost has like a cool like, I don't know, motor look to it, you know? Like biker boots and like this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to describe, okay? And then this one, this is the one I told you that's like a cool neutral, but with like a pop of color. I don't think you guys understand the stretch. Look at that, isn't that comfy? And then this one, look at how pretty this is. Isn't that such a happy color? I don't know if this is like a lilac or like a lavender. It has a little bit of like a blue tint to it. That's my favorite. It's so comfy. I'm gonna throw all these in the wash, I think, so I could use them. 
Are you unloading the dishwasher? Oh, thank you. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Look at this one, you guys. Isn't that cool? I love olive. Olive in pants, olive in, I have some olive colored leather looking leggings. I said leggings. Um, that I really like. I love <laughs> olive. It's also a really cool, you wanna cough somewhere else, sir? It's a really cool neutral, just like this one. Like I think we're so accustomed to neutral has to be black, white, beige. It does highlight my panda eyes though. Look at that. <laughs> That's okay. It don't matter. I still like it. Listen, if you can't find a comfortable mask these days, like you're not living your best life because you got to wear these everywhere you go. You plan your outfits around the mask you're going to wear. I just need it to be comfortable. I'm over trying to match it. I'm like, oh. I just need to be comfortable. Have you guys ever seen like celebrities when they go out and they have like a like a Chanel mask or a Balenciaga mask and it matches their outfit? I'm like, you have someone to dress you, right? Hi. Hi, May. Hi, May. Hi, May. Hi, May. Come on. Come on, May. Come on, May, May. About time it's a little bit of iced coffee. In your new Yeti? All right. Look at that. What color is this? It's copper. Copper. Look at that. Copper? Look at this color. Do you remember what color this was? That's pretty. Navy blue. Navy? This, though. The piece de resistance. I really wish I had purchased everything that came out in Chartreuse. It was limited edition, and now if you want to find this, originally $30, I think it's like 60 bucks. Isn't it pretty? It's such a happy color. What are you do? What are you doing? I'm mixing up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that your dad? Huh? Is your dad embarrassing you on the internet? It's delicious. Huh? What are you doing? Tell the internet what you're doing right now. Tell tell the internet that you are bullying your brothers. Confess. Does she look even bothered about it in the least? Are you even remorseful? No? Uh, why don't you hold my hand like that? That's nice. Don't care the sweater. Yes, no. <laughs> Please don't hurt the sweater. Be very careful. You sent her on purpose, didn't you? Anything but the sweater. <laughs> I like my sweater. Me and Leanne says match. Papa, do you like my sweater? You like my sweater, Papa? I love you, Poe. I love you, Poe. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Poe, that's nice. You know what sounds good right now? Kombucha. Hard kombucha. Marin, do you want some hard kombucha? You want some hard kombucha? You want... <laughs> do you want some hard kombucha, Marin? Oh, Marin. Look at this tummy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, that's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, Marin? What are you doing, Marin? I think we need to lay in bed and play with our switches for one hour. With your switch? Yes. Do you think Mateo's playing switch? I hope so. I'm going to catch one of the two kids playing. That's true. <laughs> hey, Double, do you want to play Fortnite? You want to watch your daddy play Fortnite? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did you think we weren't going to go to Costco? Because you can't tell this man you're going to Costco and then not go to Costco. You better deliver. You better come through. <laughs> got to see what's got to see what's new. I'm excited. You know how I gauge the am I gonna be able to stay home and relax today meter with Parker is if he takes off his shoes. <laughs> That's how you know. If he gets home and he looks at me and he kind of gauges, it's like, a, it's like a, he gauges me and then I gauge him. 
He gauges me and how I'm feeling, and he's like, F this. He takes off his shoes. But if he doesn't take off his shoes, it's like, I really, this is important to me. <laughs> this is really important to me. So the entire afternoon, actually since like 10 o'clock, this man has been wearing his shoes. I took off my boots, y'all, but we're here. But you didn't take your bra off. <laughs> so I could tell you weren't fully committed to staying home. When the bra comes off, we ain't going nowhere. It's over. Yeah. Stretchy pants, yeah, it's all done. Yeah, pajamas, then we're done. We're done. Oh, look at these people. They bought couches, freaking console. Dang, how many couches do they need? 75 couches. Just gonna walk right in the middle of the row. Oh, I love when people do this. I'm not looking up. Let's put them in the vlog, it's embarrassing. Uh, <sighs> Oi. How good this spot. Oh man, yeah. look at that. Look at that. Score. Yep, look at that. Prime parking. Look, his vest kind of reminds me of. Your Shut store. your mouth. He says that reminds him of this. It's the safest Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you're onto something. We're at Costco. Hold on, let's mask up, y'all. Y'all, I'm so gross. I didn't even wash it because I wanted to wear it. I mean, you put a Parker because, like, literally no masks fit him. You guys ready to do this? We're doing Costco. Parker, I don't know if I can have the ice cream, though. This is ridiculous. Look at this. I don't, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I want to have the ice cream because I kind of want a strawberry malt. Well, let's go inside. Let's, uh, let's see how we feel. Let's look at it, smell it. That means I really want the ice cream. I don't know. There's a lot of people here. I may get, I may get edgy. There's so many. There's people. a lot of people. We they might get a little anxious. This. I might get a. Uh, Corona conscious. COVID anxiety. There are a lot of people. Yeah. Are you pre sanitizing? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, we were in there for a total of how many minutes? Seven. Seven minutes, maybe. The only thing we found from like our panic shop was the Celsius energy drinks that we really love. We're probably gonna get home bed and stuff. And the, um, oh, get hand sanitizer. The, um, the, little cafe area is open but you can't sit anywhere so you just have to take your <laughs> it's like a, the hand sanitizer looks a little sliver and it just fell between the seats um so you can take the food but they give you everything like this and you can't eat anywhere and then parker's like danny 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 that sign says employees only i was like i know i was just getting paper towels <laughs> I'm such a criminal. I'm a. I was a Karen. Mm -hmm. Stealing paper towels. Get me in Costco jail. Yeah, we're gonna get put in Costco jail, you guys. So Parker, ooh, Parker. Look, you got a long wiener. So not proper. <laughs> get your hands off the wiener. You should. Have, you should have seen his face. He was so uncomfortable. <laughs> the amount of times this poor man gets made uncomfortable because of me. He yeah. was like. <laughs> the more wiener than bun. Yeah, the wiener like falls off the bun. Look at what I got. Boom! Look at that deliciousness. With the grease, it has like the drip grease. <clears throat> we didn't get the ice cream though because... Strawberry malts. Do you remember I told you last weekend's vlog? I was like, y'all, the best strawberry malt you're ever going to have in your life. Andy's. There's an Andy's in this shopping center. So we're going to eat here, and then we're going to go over there. But to this time, Parker, I'm not getting a small. <laughs> no, not this time. I thought the small was just right. Really? Yeah, I thought it was good. Small is never the answer. <laughs> Look at that. See how the wiener hangs off the bun? Looking in the wrong place, y'all. Look how yummy that is. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll show you guys my mo look at. Doesn't that sound delicious? I love chewy crust. Whoa, sir! What are you gonna say, poppy tex? Delicious. <laughs> you guys ready for this? So if you've ever seen an ice cream place that looks like that one right there with the little ice cream cones outside of it, let's see if I can get a better shot. No. It's called Andy's. Andy's custard. This, y'all, we're <laughs> so stupid. Every time we come, we're like, can I have a small? Can I have a medium? And every time we order, the guy goes, two strawberry malts. And we're like, there's two medium strawberry malts. Two strawberry malts, two small strawberry malts, two strawberry malts. I'm like, today it hit me. I was like, Parker, I don't think they have sizes. I think they just have malts. I know, I just always like to listen to you order. 
like pull it in the trash can. <laughs> she just teased me for like an hour because I said pull it into the trash can. Who says that? Oh, pull it into the trash can. Was it gonna put up a fight? <laughs> Do I have to lasso it? Parker. Drag it into the trash can. Pull it in the Parker. trash can. Parker, he Is he trying off, to get away? Can he turn off the candles? Martha can appreciate this, you guys. Martha from The Good Candle is my friend. She so happens to be a Latina. So if you say turn off the candle, we know what you mean. I know what you mean. He does not know what we mean. Am I looking for a switch on it? That's one of those fancy candles? I gave him the plate, the Costco plate with the pizza grease on it. Grease, the greasy pizza on the plate. It's greasy. Grease. Greasy. <laughs> and I was like, Parker, Parker, quick, pull this into the trash can. <laughs> when we were leaving the, I'm looking the for Andy's. A rope. <laughs> and he's like, What? What did you say? And I was like, just pull it into the trash can. I mean it's been like three years and they're, they're still coming. Like these <laughs> what did you say? Pull it in the trash can? This guy, he gets to make fun of me maybe like once a quarter. <laughs> and he he rides it hard. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is life changing. Cheers, pandas. To greasy pizza. And pulling things into trash cans. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Holy flatness. Happy Sunday. We're making breakfast. It is about 7.30. Almost 8. I'm lying, it's almost 8. We're making chorizo. Chorizo con huevo. And I added papas, which is potatoes, not tapa. And um, I wanted to show you guys the skillet I was talking about. I think it was two vlogs ago. I was telling you about how Calphalon's my favorite cookware, but since we can't cook with Teflon anymore, or rather, they don't make pans with Teflon anymore, this is the metal that they replace their Teflon pans with. And I wanted to show you guys the slopiness that I had mentioned. So you guys are gonna have to hear me through the sizzle, but you see how it slopes out? And I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming out. So the steam moves to the sides and comes up and then leaves the pan. So anytime that you want to brown or saute or really caramelize something, which means you need absence of moisture. So you want the moisture to leave. So you need a pan where the sides come out so that the moisture can rise and leave instead of come up and then fall back down. So if you guys have had issues with like sauteing or browning food or getting really good caramelization on stuff that you're cooking, you may wanna just look at your pans and it might just be as simple as the shape of the pan is not something that's conducive for you to uh, be able to do that. But this pan's one of my favorites. I found her, I think on Amazon. So this is the updated version of the older ones. Let me show you guys. Parker actually tracked down a new one of the old ones. So here is the old version. Actually, I think this might be an updated one. So this is the old version. This is 100% Teflon. And you can see the Teflon that's already coming off. Do you see all those scratches? That's actually Teflon we've probably eaten here at the house. Do you see the shape? And this is the updated version of it. So it's almost the same. This is the old logo. You see that? The old logo used to just be the word. The new logo looks like this, the branding. Um, but it's the same shape. You want pans that have the radius of either eight to 10 inches for like a breakfast pan, and then the sides that go out. You see that? Wesley, did you pay attention? Because that's your breakfast lesson for the day. What kind of pans do you want when you go to college? Parker said he's gonna buy you some. He's like, I have zero intentions of ever leaving you. <laughs> ever. I think we're gonna have a lazy day today. I have to, I've already taken out um, protein for Parker's lunches. I don't know. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm trying to get sick. It's the weather. Parker thinks it's the weather or that I have allergies, but I'm like, I'm from California. We don't have allergies. But apparently people develop them later in life. And I've been in Dallas enough where my bodies shed all of my California. Don't they say you, you leave, like every seven years you have a major personality change and all of your cells are brand new? 
Isn't that a thing? For some people, yeah. to your friends? Are you sleepy to your friends? Oh, oh that was not that was not nice. Was that not nice? Are you sleepy? What's you are you sleepy by your friends? Look at me. Oh he's so good looking. Oh who's over here so good looking? Who's over here being so good looking? Oh hello. Oh hello my angel face. And how mama finish her laundry? Yeah. Hey you guys, about 5.30, so we totally kept our promise on having a relaxing day. Come to find out that we're going to have one of the worst storms we've had um, in the last maybe like six months. So from like 1 to 4 or 5 a.m. we're going to have like egg-sized hail, 80 mile per hour winds. It's going to be pretty gnarly. So staying home was probably a good decision. We were able to do Parker's lunches, hang out with the dogs. We've been taking this Naked and Afraid marathon pretty seriously. But I wanted to say bye to you guys and remind you. <laughs> I'm doing laundry right now. That's you guys are in my detergent cabinet right now. And so I'm taking all of the um, clothes out of the washer, but I wanted to show you guys how I wash our masks. So I told you guys, this came in a multi-pack. It's a lingerie or like bra bag from Amazon. And so I hook it onto one of these little command hooks on the wall and it's low enough where all the kids can reach it. So they come home from school and they automatically plop their masks in there. If I go out, I'm wearing my mask, I had chapstick on or whatever, plop my mask in there. I try not to reuse the masks because of mask knee and all that situation that's going on. And also when I wash my masks, I don't use fabric softener and I don't put them in the dryer. So I'll take them out. These are the new colors that I got from Seoul. So I take them out and I just give them like a little zhuzh and I put them back here in my little octopus. I call it an octopus, I honestly don't know what it's called, but I don't dry any of my undergarments, any of my bathing suits, um, any of my leather looking leggings, like from Spanx, I don't dry any of those. So it's very particular. It's funny because Parker really wants to help me do laundry, but there's so many specifics on how I do things that I'm like, mm. Should I overwhelm him or should I just do it myself? So masks are one of those things where whether they have wire or not, I do like to hang dry them. So that's what we're doing now. But if you guys were interested in checking out Soul Mask, don't forget, um, it helps minimize your carbon footprint. Look how stretchy they are. They're so comfy, you guys. I'm serious. I know I'm a super notorious oversharer, but my Soul Mask withstood my therapy session test. I mean, if you can go through like a sob fest, a snot fest, then um, that's the kind of mask I need in my life. You know, that's the kind of support I need, kind of like in a bra too. 
So if you guys are interested in checking out Soul and getting 20% off, there will be a link in the description box below. Don't forget to use the code Coffee Break and you will get 20% off your order. They do have masks for adults, for kids. The patterns are constantly changing because it's dead stock fabric. So if you, for example, like this baby blue one, you gotta get it when you see it. Otherwise they run out of fabric. And then you just gotta wait for new colors that might catch your eye like this awesome olive green. Anyway, anything and everything that you guys saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box below. If by chance I forget to link anything, just leave me a comment in the description box in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you. But other than that, that's it you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend. Y'all, the next time I see you, we're gonna be at the vet as per usual. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.